Hello everyone. I'm going to make a video about how to set up a uh, Unirenko charts and the charts that I use for trading. So, um let's uh let's uh, do it right away. So, uh first of all, um you have to go to the um Ninja Trader ecosystem. Let me open it uh, right here. And uh, you have to look for Unirenko. Okay, once you're there, um, you're going to see uh, uh, the version that you need it for. So this one is uh, is for Ninja Trader 8. And this is the one that I use. Okay, so if you click here, then you can go and download it there. Instructions on how to import it into your application are right here. So very easy. Uh, the other the other one I use uh, to um, is the uh, to tell me when the uh, Unibrenco price on the last uh, uh, chart um, closes is this one here. So you go there. You have uh, that uh, that uh, Renko bar will close um, at uh, 65.13.75. So if you're going to enter uh, enter uh, the trade, it's going to be a tick. I do I do a tick above this one. So it's going to be at 65.14. Uh, 65 and then if it reverses, it's going to close below uh, 65.08.75 um, or, or, or 65.08.50. So when it, when, when it hits uh, 65.08.50, it makes a reversal bar. It's enough, but it uh, it's uh, good that that you have it in your in your chart. Okay, so those are the two indicators uh, that I use in 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 Renko. So let's uh, let's go and um, and create a new chart. So you go you go to your dashboard and then go into um, new um chart and then you will have it here okay so you have this data series then you choose here a instrument i'm going to choose um uh, gold so gc and it's going to by default it's going to give you the, the last one you created okay so um the type of uh, chart that you are going to use is uh is uh, displayed here in the type, so you you can choose several of or or any of this, right? You can choose a minute uh, chart or a daily chart or uh, and in in the Unirenko once you imported it, it's going to uh, be displayed here. Once you, I'm going to choose Renko to see the difference. So you have a brick size of two days to load three, etc. Right? But if you choose uh, Unirenko, this one gives you a little bit of more um, of more uh, information on the bar itself, right? So here you have a tick trend of, of four, so that means that uh, the difference in between the high of the previous bar and the high of the next one is going to be four. The open off offset is going to be ten, so and then a tick reversal is going to be 20. So this is the one that I use for entry chart. So this is my entry chart in large bar. So um, uh, uh, if I um, I do use also an anchor chart, which is a larger bar. So this one that is going to be double all of these uh, uh, bars uh, or all of these uh, values. So it's going to be eight, twenty, and forty. And I use a smaller one that is uh, two, five, and ten. So those are the three that I, I normally have displayed in my uh, monitors. I do have uh, six monitors in my desk, so um, so I this one goes in in each different one right so um okay and then uh here you put the number of days i'm going to put 30 uh days uh to display the 30 day previous days of of uh of the day and then if you scroll the back down you have the um the colors i i i use the red and the lime but i over uh i put uh, another indicator um on top of it to 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 give me some um, 
some more information but uh, if you do this uh, that that would be fine and then the other thing that uh, that uh, I recommend you to do is to delete this label so in that way you don't display it in the in the in the chart itself okay so I'm gonna put uh, and then if you have defined already uh, a layout you can save your layout uh, and then you can put it right here and then the next time you create the bar the the chart is going you can you can put all the indicators you want right there right away okay I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna uh, move this one it it uh, displayed in a different area now I'm gonna put moving averages right so basically what I do here is to you know just uh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the properties here a little bit I go here to the uh, a chart background and I put uh, just black that's the way I like it the contract is a little the contrast is a little bit better and then the other thing that I do uh, is to uh, eliminate the scroll bar right, right here so the more space that I have in the bar the better and um, and the other thing uh, that I do is to uh, eliminate the the, um, the tabs right here so when I apply it you see it's uh, the contract is a the contrast is a little bit better okay so that is the chart okay um, next I'm gonna put um, uh, some instrument uh, I mean some uh, indicator so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna use um, EMAs so basically I'm gonna choose uh, um, one two three and four okay so the first one is going to be um 21 ema and i and for this one i normally use the color and it's going to be um that one i use a red okay so 21 is is a red then um next one is going to be 34 and this one i make it gold let's uh, look for it gold and then I'm gonna use uh, the next one is going to be 89 and this one is going to be a color uh, cyan um, where is it that one and then the last one is going to be the 200 and I'm gonna choose um, purple that purple there and I'm gonna make uh, this one instead of a line I'm gonna make it um, um, no not solid I'm gonna make it uh, dash dot dot okay so now I'm gonna apply it and all and those are the moving averages I use okay so um, here with what you have is the basic the basic right uh, uh, if you want to change the properties and then put a little bit larger you can put that two or three I'm gonna put three for, for this one but uh, you really don't need to do that okay so there you go you have all the moving average all the moving averages right right there so um, the other uh, in oh so so see if you don't delete the label those labels are going to be shown up here and I don't like that so I'm gonna go to the indicators again and I'm gonna delete all the um, labels this one this one this one and this one okay so I'm gonna apply it and you'll see that uh, that it's going to disappear so that that's the way I like it now uh, the other uh, indicator I use is the Ichimoku cloud and uh, you have to download I believe that you have to download this one as well um, so you click here and you and I, and I use the default values right there so no changes and I put apply um, 
and so it's it's right there one and one other trick that uh, that uh, you you can use here is um, um, to uh, click uh, shift and then leave it pressed and then position your mouse on top of the indicator and um, uh, so you have to choose it first and then you see that this if you click a, a, a shift and then or, or press shift and then scroll with your mouse uh, scroll up and up or down the level is going to change right and it's going to uh, be positioned in the back or in the front so you see I, I keep it in the back okay now um, the other uh, indicator I use is uh, the MACD and that one there uh, you go to MACD mm. MACD and then that one would be the other one I use okay um, oof, again sorry I have to change that one I don't like it in my so I'm gonna go put it here um, delete the label and then it seems that the Ichimoku I had it I had it with uh, without label already so it's uh, by default I put the values right there so I put let go so um, yeah that it that it's basically what I use um, now um, oh the other one is the is the uh, uni wrinkle price right so let's uh, let's uh, put it here so in that way you see um, I think that it's called uni wrinkle price right Okay, so you have uni wrinkle price, and then when you apply it, you will see that there's a, there is another, um, the the price is marked there. So uh, if if you are uh, trading a bounce, um, for example, here if you think that this one is going to bounce out of out of there, my my strategy doesn't allow me to take that this trade because it's uh, it it will close. Uh, within the cloud and I don't trade uh, I don't make an entry when when that's happening for me what what this indicates is that um, that uh, you know it's in consolidation if in, I, if you put a line from here to there you see that it's still consolidating uh, unless it goes above this value right there so that one would be a, a break. It, it, it's a dirty uh, break, actually. Um, so, so because uh, well, I'm talking about the strategy now. But uh, but uh, what happened is that you don't have a higher high and a higher low. You have equal high or higher high, and then or actually lower high from this one, and then a similar low in this one. So what you will expect in this is that it probably is going to break to the downside or it's still in consolidation right so that is the area that uh, it's consolidating and probably is going to move uh, sideways um, unless it breaks uh, the moving averages moving averages in this case are, are still stuck to the upside so you have uh, 200 89 34 and 21 they are all stuck to the upside so still uh, there is some bullish sentiment on on this chart okay I guess that that's uh, what I use um, let me see if there's any other yeah I, I think that 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 would do it, do it right um, very simple um, and very very simple not no no rush on that they, there's uh, other indicators that I um, you know put uh, on top of this but I but this is basically basically it the other thing that normally I do in Renko charts is to um, see what the trend is right so you have here a um, 
a kind of dirty um, uh, uptrend in this channel so you have uh, congestion there then you have some uh, week out of the uh, 21 right there that one was a good trade uh, now you have you're creating now a week out of the 89 and um, but uh, but it still doesn't trigger it and and if it triggers is is within the the cloud so you have to be careful on that um, and then the momentum you know you have a um, bearish momentum uh, so when the momentum is to the downside so it's kind of like not doing it really well if you go now and put the eight um, and I do have it here right I, I, I saved it and I it, if you go to the higher time frame you will see that um, in gold um, you are above the moving average here okay so um, I mean ab above the moving averages as well so you're bullish you are above the cloud so um, but uh, the direction of this bar is to the downside so you have a red um, right there and a blue right here so blue means that that it's towards that direction so if it closes below that one is going to continue the trend um, and then if you go low to the scalp chart then you will see that you have a little bit more signals and a little bit more noise but this one is is uh, below the moving averages and so you don't have full alignment in between them you have the anchor chart and the trigger chart to the upside but this one is triggering to the downside so which one is the one that is going to prevail normally you have to trust the uh, the larger un until but this one is uh, kind of trying to to break to the downside but um, noisy right noisy because uh, you are above the uh, moving averages in the other anchor chart so would you take this one i don't know you have to you have to take uh i wouldn't take it because it's not it's not above the it, it, the anchor chart and the trigger chart are not are not um, in sync with this one but it's breaking okay so this one is one two three breaking to the downside And so, um, so yeah, so that that's how my anchor chart works. Now, uh, for um, for other instruments, uh, I do the same, right? It is the same uh, setup for uh, for crude. So if I change it to crude here, oh, in okay. I don't like that. Sorry, I'm gonna delete the Unirenko as well. So same thing, same setup for uh, crude. Um, this one is the entry chart for large bars. And it's uh, moving, moving to the upside, retracing a little bit, uh, looking for a bounce of a one of these moving averages. One of these moving averages, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, so for Ninja Trader Eight, this is the one that I'm using, and that would be the setup. I use I use other uh, indicators that would tell me some, you know critical levels like the previous day high uh, or the previous day low and uh, and uh, some pivots that I use the floor pivot and, uh, and, and other indicators that I that I just just to confirm that uh, that uh, that I'm in the in the right uh, side of the trade right but basically um, what you would see is that um, is that I made trades uh, when I'm uh, in this direction, right? Uh, so above the moving, above the uh, moving averages, above the cloud, 
um, and, uh, and in an in an uptrend. So if I see uh, higher highs and higher lows, it is a good way to to identify the trades. So here you are in a chop area right now, which is probably normal because uh, you know. Um, So you have uh, it's uh, 12:35 p.m. Eastern. So that means uh, that you know in this at lunch. Uh, normally, it uh, on Fridays. Uh, normally, it moves uh, sideways. So you can you have to be very careful on this one because you you could be very you could be chopped out very badly in in here. So, all right. So that's uh, my setups. Uh, hope you like the video, and. Um, I'm gonna put post some additional ones in regards to setups uh, or to to entry setups as well. Uh, one more thing that I like to do here is to give mm, oh this is not so in the in the properties here you can give a space to the to the right so it, so these indicators would show so you put uh, for example you can put 40 okay and then you apply here so when you move it here you have some space uh, there you can even put there even more so let's put 80 oh properties apply so you have you see you have more space there so you can see these numbers okay all right so that's uh, that's the, the setup thank you for watching